sale of the century is a Reg Grundy production. <laughs> it's trick for treat week on sale of the century. And our players will win a piano, this diamond necklace, a silver punch bowl, <laughs> and a trip to Transylvania. And continue a journey towards a fortune in cash and prizes, including a cabriolet and $50,000 in cash. In total, over $100,000. It's trip or treat week on Sale of the Century. And now here's the star of the show, Jim Perry. Whoa! <laughs> Coming through the conference. All right. <laughs> Hello there. Welcome to Trick or Treat Week on Sale of the Century. Boy, it's going to be a lot of fun. We've got a lot of good things. We do want to congratulate once again our outgoing champion, Phil Cambry, a wonderful champion who left us on our last show with over $90,000 yeah. in cash and prizes. Fine champion. So that means we have three new challengers, and here to introduce them is Summer Bartholomew. Hello Hi. there, Summer. I thought that spiral would get you. Yeah, I didn't see that coming out. <laughs> This contestant is an aspiring jingle singer from Chicago, Illinois. Say hello to Dave Anderson. Hi, Dave. She's an award-winning sand sculptor from San Dimas, California. Let's hear it for Wally Saavedra. Hello, Wally. And he is still crazy after all these years. Originally from Seattle, Washington, a big hand to Rich Martin. Hello, Rich. See you later with some bargains, okay. Summer. Thank you, and I know you got some good ones. Dave, a visitor from Chicago, Illinois. Yes. Nice to have you here. Uh, an aspiring jingle singer. Yeah, Jim, I figure I have been serenading the shower tiles for too long. <laughs> time to try to make a buck out of it, huh? It's time to hit the airwaves, you know what I'm well, saying? Well, <laughs> good luck. You make a lot of money if you hit it big. Wally, an award-winning sand sculptor. That's true, Jim. I recently won a sand castle building contest in Manhattan Beach, California for my replica of the White House. Oh, and if you won, I've seen some of those on the news, and uh, you must be very good if you won it. Nice well, to have you here. I really dig my hobby. Oh, okay. <laughs> Rich? Still crazy after all these years. You bet, Jim. I'm still playing in a rock and roll band that we started 10 years ago in college. Well, good for you. Nice to have you here as well. Good luck to all three of you. We always have a great prize for the winner of the match, and we've got a good one. The winner of today's match gets a trip to Ireland. Something to shoot for. Twenty dollars starts you all off. Let's get into the match with this. This time, 20 years ago, one of the top 10 movies was the Neil Simon comedy, The Odd Wally. Couple. That's right. The Odd Couple. It is five dollars for the correct answer. Wally for 25. On Halloween night, what do we call the spirit of a dead person who visits the living? Dave. A ghost. Ghost is right. You've got your first five. <laughs> what is your boyfriend about to do if he tells you to smile and say cheese? Dave. Take your picture. You got it. You're in the lead by five. If you see a movie that really terrifies you, you might say it made your what stand on end? Wally. Hair. That's right, and Wally keeps a pace of 30. At the grocery store, what are you buying if you have boxes of oyster soda and saltines? Wally. Crackers. Crackers it is, and Wally goes into the lead by five. <laughs> Time for an issue bargain. Player in the lead can buy bargain merchandise. Wally, $5 leader per day, the opportunity to buy this. Wally, there are no tricks with this treat. Hitachi's Quick Start Portable 5-inch Color TV with flat screen tube for detailed image reproduction. May be operated indoors, outdoors, or in your auto. Furnished by Hitachi. It's normally priced at $369. But today on sale of the century, it's for only $6. Oh, Wally, very nice. A little color TV, $369, not $6, Wally. You've got a $5 lead. I'll let you have the TV for 5 bucks. Boy, I could put that in my kitchen and watch Sale of the Century For $5, going once, going twice, going to buy. I thought you were reaching. Way to go. Uh, what, what? Our magician has a surprise up his sleeve. Hitachi's 50-inch <laughs> diagonal screen color projection TV. Multi-TV stereo sound, random access electronic tuning. Infrared remote control, swing away cabinet doors, furnished by Itachi. The total amount for this instant bargain is $2,769. Well, Wally, we told you it was trick or treat week. Well, that won't fit in my kitchen, but I, it sure will fit somewhere. I only so. You just got a treat. Congratulations. We'll knock the five off, and you and Dave back into a tie. For generations, Margaret Hamilton has been spooking young viewers. Dave? The Witch on The Wizard of Oz. You got it. You're back into the lead by five. Six score in five years ago, Abraham Lincoln stood on the battlefield and gave this famous address. Wally. Gettysburg address. That's what, yeah, that's what it is now. Six score and five. 
the author who's written a string of bestsellers, including Bloodline and If Tomorrow Comes, Wally. Sydney Sheldon. And you're into the lead by five, yes. Time of the fame game now. We're playing for control of the fame game board. $10 money card on the board. We're looking for a famous person. I am a performer who is the subject of a new film and best-selling book. I was born in Western Europe in 1940, was in the public eye from my late teens till my untimely death in 1980. I was in a group called the Quarrymen. Rich. John Lennon. You got it. You've got control of the board. $10 money card. Where is that? Family number two. We lock into your buzzer, Rich. Good luck. Come on, $10 money question. No, that's on number one, and he gets... $500. $500, right into your pocket. Congratulations. Back to the match right after this commercial timeout. This week in game show history, Funny You Should Ask debuts on ABC with host Lloyd Thaxton. Card Sharks sinks, and Tomorrow Rodriguez picks the million dollar suitcase on Deal or No Deal. Talk about best case scenario. And sale of the century. I right, thank you. A trick or treat week continues. And as you saw with that TV for Wally, when she bought a little one and got a big one, we've got a lot of other little surprises like that. So be with us and the entire NBC lineup as we all celebrate six shows of Halloween. Back to it with Wally at 40 and Dave at 35, Rich at 20. Throughout the ages, this pungent food has been used to cure athletes' feet. Wally? Garlic. Do you know to, they use it to cure athletes' feet? <laughs> Garlic it is. Yeah, you're right. Go to 45. <laughs> In the movie Pal Joey, Rita Hayworth cast a spell on us when she sang Be Dave. Bewitched, bothered, and bewildered. Oh, they only got the B out, and the jingle <laughs> singer knew it. He goes to 40. When you want to get your harpsichord back in perfect pitch, you would use a two pronged metal device called a tuning, Dave. Tuning fork. Two musical questions in a row, and Dave ties Wally for the lead. Barrel, jumping chola, and saguaro are just three of the kinds of hardy desert plant. Dave. They're cactus. Cactus is right, yeah, and by five, you go into the lead. Well, this time you've got the lead. Now, I remember in the last show we had all this smoke with the instant bargains. They are at it again with <laughs> Trick or Treat. Dave, this could be yours. 
Dave, this prize just might entrance you. An elegant evening dress designed to make any occasion memorable and created for the discriminating woman. Your choice with a gift certificate from Birgitta and it's normally priced at $1,000. But today on sale of the century, cheers for only $10. Well. Oh. Oh, it's going to cost me a fortune in pressing bills by the end of <laughs> trick-or-treat week. Dave, $1,000 oh. gift certificate should be great. My sister's birthday is coming up. Well, then let's think of your sister, and I'll help okay. you. Not 10. You've got a $5 lead of a wallet. You can have it for five. Going once, going twice. Yes. Go to buy. <laughs> Enjoy that $1,000 gift certificate for $5. Well done. Oh, oh, now this is something else we've got here. This is our little trick or treat. Here comes a ghost with two boxes for you. There are two. There's one with a pumpkin, one with a ghost. One is a trick, one is a treat. Which box would you like? <laughs> the pumpkin. The pumpkin. Okay. Let's find out. Did you get a trick or did you get a treat? With the pumpkin, we have. Come on! Come on! I think it's a trick, too. <laughs> Oh, you got 700 bucks! Oh. Well, it was worth the effort! <laughs> Mr. Ghost, would you wind your boxes a little more during the rest of Trick or Treat Week? Way to go, Dave. $700 in cash. All right. <laughs> Whew. Back with us for five. As we knock the five off, of course, you and Wally in that time. The first American Soviet co production of a Broadway musical will be Sophisticated Ladies. Wally. Duke Ellington. That's the music. You're back on the believe by far. <laughs> what heavenly body is habitually howled at by werewolves? Dave? The moon. Yes, indeed. <laughs> and you keep a pace. In what Midwest state could you take a music take in a musical performance by the Canton and Akron Symphony? Dave? In Ohio. In Ohio it is. Dave back on the believe. According to the old saying, what should you do if at first you don't succeed? Dave? You should try, try again. Indeed, and Dave goes into the lead by ten. Right you are. Well, talking about that good advice, W.C. Fields had even better advice. He said, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again, then quit. There's no use making a fool out of yourself. <laughs> we'll be right back.
cemetery, we now return. <laughs> and back to Trick or Treat with Dave at 60, Wally at 50. Rich, come on, get going. Maybe this will do it for you. Another money card up there as we go back to the fame game and a famous thing. I am an American coin that was first minted in 1796. I was originally made mostly of silver, but since 1965, I have been made of copper sandwiched between two layers of a copper and nickel mixture. In Dave. Is it the dime? No, it is not. Oh, out of the rest of the question, okay. we'll clear it. Continue for Wally and Rich. In 1987, one billion three hundred thousand of me were produced. A lot of me go into machines that will accept nothing else. So, Rich. Quarter. You've got it. You've got control of the board, Rich. Quarter it is. Fifteen dollar money card wears. That's huh? getting number nine. Two of them to shoot for this time, Rich. So good luck. Come on, fifteen dollar question. No. No, that's awful to look like. Lance was seven, and he gets. It's bed clothing. Oh, Perfect yeah. fit. Bed sack bed clothing helps create a better way to sleep. Choose from a complete selection of products to create a totally luxurious bedroom environment. Very nice. Worth over five hundred dollars. Yours Great. to keep. You picked up a couple of good things up there, and you're still not that far behind. During a White House visit, the King and Queen of England were served hot dogs prepared by this president's wife, Eleanor. Dave. Roosevelt. Do you know that Eleanor claimed she could only cook two things, hot dogs and scrambled eggs, and she cooked the hot dogs. You go to 65. <laughs> Halloween is the appropriate time to rent this Alfred Hitchcock masterpiece. Dave. Psycho. Gotta be psycho, even without any more information. You're right, you go to 70. The name of the mythical Roman god, a king of the gods and ruler of the universe, was given to our solar system's largest planet. Name it, Dave. Jupiter? Jupiter is right on a strong segment there, Dave, the 75, which may pose a bit of a problem for you. You have the lead with the instant cash. Yes. Oh, here comes the smoke again. <laughs> Two boxes have $100 bills. <clears throat> One today is worth $2,000. But it costs the amount of your lead if you want to go for it. It would cost you that $25 lead you've built up for a crack at $2,000, Dave. Going once, going twice, and no sale. <laughs> no sale. Hands off. It was in number three. Number three had the $2,000. Talking about three, on the next show it goes to $3,000. We'll be back continuing with more trick-or-treats. A lot of fun right after this commercial time. One of our Sale of the Century contestants could win a brand new Cabriolet boutique designed for comfort and economy. It features an automatic transmission, air conditioning, leather seating, and theft deterrent AM FM stereo cassette. From Volkswagen, this prize is worth $2,000. <laughs> 
$19,616. And now, back to sale of the century. Thank you, Don. Back to the nice novel, Dave at 75, Wally at 50, Rich at 20. And I must tell you, looking at the great job they did with that car and the costumes and all, the staff has done a wonderful job. But believe me, stick with us the entire Trick or Treat week. You're going to see a lot of fun and a lot of good things for the players. Let's get back to it and see who's going to get, talking about good things, a trip to Ireland. On a trip to the wettest U.S. state, you could get caught in a cloudburst on Canapoli. Dave? Seattle, Washington. No, no, no. No, it doesn't get that wet there. <laughs> Canapoli Beach is in the state of Hawaii. Oh. That is the wettest. Yeah, cost you five, down to 70. The IRS and the D Bureau of the Mint are two divisions of what U.S. federal, Dave? The Department of Treasury. That's what it is. And Dave, back to the $75 mark. On Halloween night, 1938, a realistic radio broadcast of this H.G. Well day. Was it the War of the World? Yeah, you had to get that question during Trick or Treat Week, right? <laughs> you go back to Haiti, right? Well, Dave stretched it out a little bit. Third and final fame game. Wally or Rich, you might need that $25 going up there. And we're looking for a famous person. I am a principal character in an 1897 novel. My name has been in the title of at least six movies. My story is the gothic tale of the Nesferatu. I kept Dave. It's Dracula. It is indeed Count Dracula. Yes, and you've got control. $25 money card where from? Tiana number five. Three of them to shoot for. You've already got a $30 lead. Dave, good luck. I want that $25 money card now. Ooh, that's off it. Lance oh. on four, and he gets $400. That's nice. You've got the lead. Goes right into your pocket. Now the question is, can he hang on to the lead? As that trip to Ireland is on the line, we finish it up with a speed round. May I have 60 seconds on the clock? Dave at 80, Wally at 50, Rich at 20. Good luck to all three of you. We start the speed round now. What ghoulish TV family included Wednesday, Pugsley, and Martin? Wally. The Munsters. Wrong. On your leg, what joint lies between your thigh and your calf? Dave. The knee joint. Right. What soft drink claims to be crisp and clean with no caffeine? Wally. Seven up. Right. If you want to kiss the Blarney Stone, you have to go, Dave. To Ireland. Yes. <laughs> the meaning of the Latin phrase, Tempus Fugit, is time. Wally? Is money. No. What item in your backyard might be square, oval, or Olympic size? Dave. Your pool. Right. In the first of the Halloween movies, Michael's intended victim was Jamie Lee. Dave. Curtis. Right. Supposedly, what do witches have on their nose and toads give you? Dave. Warts. Right. Each year on March 19th, to what California city did the swallows return? Dave. To Capistrano. Right, you are. What future president was vice president under Eisenhower? Dave. Nixon? Right. Animals that are used by man to perform heavy work are called beasts of... Dave. Of burden. Right. According to the title of the James Bond novel, what kind of jewels are forever? Rich. Diamonds. Yes. And Rich has another five. But a big win for Dave. And the going to Chicago. And he's off and running. Great win for Dave. Back to him in a moment. Couple that uh, were missed. Trying to throw Wally off there. She was pushing Dave for a while. Wednesday, Pugsley and Morticia, they are on the Adams family. And uh, Tempest Fujit, time flies. Time flies. <laughs> got to say goodbye as time has flown to say goodbye to Wally and Rich. Wally, oh, you did very well. You got the small screen TV. You got that lovely treat of the big screen TV. And with the cash in front of you for the day, you are over $2,800. Wally, well done. Thank you very much. I had a great time. That's nice. Congratulations. Rich, you did very well as well off that board. You got the betting, $525 in cash, $1,039. Right. Well done. All right. But the day belongs today. Did you notice the way he answered that question about Ireland like he really enjoyed it? <laughs> Dave, congratulations. <sighs> you are off to Ireland. Don. <laughs> David, me lad, what better trip for Halloween than to a castle in Ireland? We'll fly you and a friend from Los Angeles to Dublin, where you'll have a week's stay at Fitzpatrick Castle Hotel. A real castle built in 1741, overlooking Dublin Bay and nestling regally into the 300-acre woodland preserve. Furnished by Fitzpatrick Hotels Ireland, this prize is worth $3,877. Oh, that's great. Enjoy that. Now Dave joins me for the first time to play the winner's big money game. Come on, Dave. Congratulations. Looked like a dog, dog fight there for a while, but then you started to stretch it out. Way to go, Dave. Man came all the way out from Illinois. That's very nice. And you topped it off with a trip to Ireland, and now maybe $5,000. Three envelopes. Let's get to it. Red, yellow, or blue. Which one do you want to flag? 
Favorite color is blue. All right. Solve four puzzles in 20 seconds. $5,000 is yours. Clock starts when the first word of each puzzle is revealed. It stops when you hit that plunger to give me an answer. And as you know, you must stop the clock, and it is in your hands to stop it. And then you've got to give me an answer right away. Good luck. 20 seconds on the clock. Dave, we're all with you now. First puzzle starts now. Popular novelist wrote Misery. Cujo. Yes? Stephen King. Stephen King is right. Yes, indeed. There's your first one. Need three more. You're a little behind with 14 seconds. Let's take a look at the next puzzle. Now, Humphrey Bogart played Kane's Mad. Yes? Kane's Mad. Oh. <laughs> Queen. The captain. Queen. Captain Queen. Couldn't come up with it. That's the one mistake you can make. You cannot make another. Let's look at the next puzzle. And it comes in now. Island Nation where Wellington is capital <laughs> New Zealand. New Zealand. New Zealand. Could have known that. You were thinking <laughs> Ireland. That's what you were yeah, doing. You were thinking, thinking Ireland. Ireland. We'll be right back with our champ right after this. <laughs> what? Cut the trip. Cut the trip. I'll be back. <laughs> Next, a movie monster creates a trash to deceive the to tell the truth panel. Then, a familiar frightening face on What's My Line. Stay tuned. And uh, Dave, I know you felt bad about the five, but the trip to Ireland has special significance to you, right? Yes, I was an exchange student to Ireland when I was a sophomore in high school, and I haven't seen the family that I lived with since then. And oh, that, I can't wait to that see That should them. be wonderful. That'll be terrific. Well, you had a wonderful day. It's You missed that 5000 but you did get a lot of cash. You got 1100 in cash <laughs> and the trip to Ireland. So for the day, Dave's got $5,977. And Trick or Treat Week continues throughout the entire NBC Game Show lineup. And with us next time on Tale of the Century. Bye for now.
Sale of the Century stars Jim Perry. This is Don Morrow speaking. Sale of the Century is a Reg Grundy production. You are looking at the amphibian, a monster from inner space. What you see here took more than six months to create. It's made of such materials as plastic.